now it's actually video recording. I say video as if there's a tape right. reeling around in it, there. I, I say footage all the time. A video tape. Footage. sure actually I'm pretty confident that the GPS location that I put in was pretty accurate as far as where the OHV area was and uh, we have passed it by about a quarter of a mile at a fork back there so before we get too far ahead it won't take very much very long to get back to here anyway we're gonna go check out that fork and see if that's where the staging area is for the OHV and or the area for camping because uh, we're running into Signs that say, for instance, 1N25 is right here, and it shows that it's for Jeeps, quads, and dirt bikes. But I haven't yet seen any place to unload dirt bikes or quads. We have to get them here somehow, so we we'll backtrack and check that out. Yeah, we're kind of just off the road, but this is the first sign of actual camping, any established camping location. There's a fire ring. We're 
off of a bend in the road. In fact, there's another truck right there. So there's cars driving by, but we've got running water. There's an established fire pit. And looks like there's trails that are potentially above my skill level right here. So we're gonna stop and check this out. So initially I thought that we had found camp for the night, camp for the day. It's still pretty early in the day. We've got a really nice or recoverable fire pit. The falls are pretty cool. They're not falls, it's just moving water. But there's some spots here that the water looks to be nice and deep. So the one time I don't bring my swimming trunks and you find places like this, But there's also an OHV trail here. It goes across that log and disappears up that hill. But there's also a lot of human garbage, human waste, and spots quite literally. Because apparently people can't dig holes anymore. Horrible. I like the idea that this has moving water. But the day is still young. And I, again, with the, the running water, the, the trail as we go back up and leave here goes up the mountain. And I just feel like this is going to be the last opportunity for water. And that's purely speculation. I don't know where I'm getting that from, but there's at least a nice spot to stop and have a sandwich and revel in the idiocy of humans carving stuff into trees with a chainsaw. Uh, some of the trees you can see deep marks from when they were pulling stumps. They, they cabled off to other trees. And who knows, maybe these ones are marked with chainsaws to be taken down. But I think that we are going to continue on uh, despite my desire to stop at the first place that we found that has a fire pit. There's really not any spots for two decent flat tents anyway. We can come back to it. We can and come back to it, but I vote for moving on. Yeah. We can do better than feces everywhere. I mean, if the- Feces, cow- the Animals is one thing. Co there's coyote up on top of rocks. That tells me that, tells me what little I know. It tells me that I think it's coyote. I think we're gonna get loaded back on the bikes and head up the trail a bit. All right, so. Even though we have a plan C or a D, we don't want to stay here. It's just full of poo, poo everywhere. Uh, we still have not found the original destination, which is supposed to be an OHV park or an OHV, at least staging area, Hunter Creek OHV, where I would expect there to be at least a place to turn trailers around for dirt bikes and quads. We still haven't found that. And I don't think it's this direction. We're just going away and up a different ridge. So we're going to backtrack and continue up that road that we originally were on. And even if we don't find it, we'll find something up there. Come with us.
dripping water out of my pannier. Or maybe beer. Oh. Huh. No, that's my water. Uh, actually here, cameraman. Uh, you don't squeeze it. You my, squeeze it and start yeah, to shoot. So my, my water bottle inside of my pannier has sprung some leaks from bending and flexing. So I'm trying to figure out there's one there. Damn it, I started looking at the bottle and not... And filling. there's one right there. So the only other mm. container that I have that holds liquids is my pee bottle, my pee bag. So that's not happening. Uh, that's get my uh, my pannier is leaking. No. Yeah, I don't do that. So that means my pannier is full. Oh God! How much of that much water? How much water in the pannier? Let's let's get some pannier. Oh God! That sucks, dude. That is weird. Something new each time, right? Electrical tape, which is not going to do it. No, electrical tape will not do it. Yeah, the one time that I don't bring that extra flexible water bladder for, for filtering water into. I think what I, oh, that's what happened. I think I retired it because it developed a leak on the last one and I didn't put a new one in. This is a tortilla bag I used for my sandwich this morning. All right, this will get us to camp, and I can fill up my billy pot. There you go. It, even mine. I'll, I'll, ta I'll tap that for yours for water, and we'll save mine. There's always something. But man, look where we are. Do it to it while we still got water. I think this is camp. Uh, I believe this is camp because there's nothing up here and okay. without without having to backtrack. We'd have to get back to the last OHV spur and go off of it to find something. If we want to do that, I can we scope that either later today or tomorrow for next time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this will do, donkey. There's nothing else on the way up. And there's a there's a fire spot. There's two mediocre to, to okay spots for tents. And uh, I gotta open up my water and pour it into my other containers that I have. In fact, I can always pour that into my dirty bags as well and just filter it out. Like you did, like I said, so, between my cook pot and your cook pot, we should knock that thing down to where it isn't leaking. So. 
let's see how much traffic we get through here. This is a pretty gorgeous spot. We just came up that road. So I've emptied everything out of that pannier. Uh, basically everything that's in there is my kitchen side. So I've got stainless steel billy pot at the bottom, I've got a sit pad, I got some freeze-dried meals, a coffee cup, fuel, so stuff that getting wet isn't going to be the end of the world. But I've got a, a leak spot here and there on the bottle. So what I've done is I've emptied as I just basically filled my billy pot because I know that I will use that for food and for coffee and for whatever and I'll probably end up using more but I've at least got my stuff for dinner uh, I've got some beers to drink as well uh, thankfully this is one of those things that it's nice to have happen so close to home on a single overnight that we're not headed out for multiple days into the middle of nowhere and relying on the water that we've brought which is something that we should be able to do this has never happened to me before and ironically I, I don't think that it can be the trail we've been on rough trails before but Brian is having the same problem yeah just wringing this out of soaking it up in the bottom of the pan here the, the camp spot isn't really a camp spot somebody's camped here before we're gonna Revive this little fire ring. Brian has a, a flat spot there for him. And I believe I've got a flat enough spot here to, to set my tent. I can't believe that I've never known this to be here. Uh, I've been coming out here to Jamestown up to Maloney's Lake since the very early 2000s, uh, riding mountain bikes. The buddy who owns a spot up here and his dad actually loaned, owned most of the land. So he didn't even know about this and he was just on the other side of the highway so score Gathering firewood. Get out of the my shadow out of the shot. There's firewood everywhere. Firewood everywhere. Firewood everywhere. Brian asks, is there anything other than pine? The pine burns nice and quick and it's good in all of it. What else do we got? I'm like, uh, we got pine. And uh, sit here and flap my gums while Brian actually physically labors. Uh, is that Dead Man's Anita? No. The white stuff? Probably. Super bleak, super dry. It'll it's, burn. It's not pine. It's not pine. It's not pine. We like lots of small shit for a controlled fire. No burning down the mountain. No burning down the mountain. One thing I wanted to mention out loud is these are not exactly solo trips that I've been on, but technically they are. Think about it. I'm going solo and Brian is going solo and we each have brought everything that we need to sustain ourselves 
I'm gonna have no reliance on the other or anything that the other has brought to be able to make it through the trip, food-wise, water-wise. Uh, in the cases where the, the leaking water container, it's nice to have somebody else as a backup. But all of these trips, the main goal is to bring everything that you need to be self-sufficient. If you want beer, bring beer. If you need water, bring water. If you need food, bring food. Make sure that all your stuff is taken care of. I don't want to make any shameless plugs, but realizing that I've been here for hours, my tent is set up, we've built a fire ring, I uh, played around with my drone a little bit, uh, remedied this weird water situation for now. I've got half of a beer in me. We're trudging around thinking about if we've got enough firewood. The shameless plug is I have invested in a pair of boots for riding in that I find myself standing here still wearing. The Alpine Stars Toucan Gore-Tex boots. I invested in a couple of years ago, knowing that I wanted something to ride in, something that I wouldn't have to think about my feet, and it has come to be a wise investment. But I only thought about it because Brian says, uh, oh, change into my camp shoes. And I was like, oh yeah, I brought camp shoes. So these boots, you're not gonna go hiking in them, but you can, you can definitely wear them, trample around in them, and they're they're very comfortable and there's a lot of support for riding they're for me the perfect boot <laughs> minimal battery left figured it'd be a decent perfect. decent time to bring this out and see if this can possibly pick up and do any of this justice All right, the battery died in the other one. That's the seven, this is the six. Let's see if the six is able to pick up okay. this light any different. That's gross. Ah, uh, uh, editing. Ew. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see if this can pick up this light any better than the other one. It, uh, it looks pretty comparable, but like I was saying, we haven't seen a soul since we stopped at the shitty camp, shitty Creekside camp. And we are completely secluded out here, up in the hills. And it's amazing that this is 40 miles, you said? 40 miles, 39 and change. We're 40 miles from the Chevron station in Jamestown. And yet we are able to find something that is, according to the website, it's open year round. So year-round access, and uh, granted, it's going to be covered in snow as soon as any precipitation starts falling yeah, here. Yeah, you said, what, 5,000 feet? Yeah, the elevation that we're at, this is definitely going to be under snow. We did cross a couple of gates on the way in that were all open. I don't know which ones they closed for the, for the winter season. So we never actually found the OHV. There's no staging right, area. Hunter Creek OHV trail or area yeah the ohv the hunter creek ohv technically it's listed as a campground but i didn't find anything we're up this road and i keep seeing national forest signs that do include the use of jeeps quads and dirt bikes full-on ohv trail so we're in the ohv area but there was no there was no sign no signal that we entered there was no sign as far as no, normally I'm used to seeing signs that says no OHV be beyond this point right. or uh, beyond this point. It's only OHV, but there's been no indications other than once we're in and to be able to get these. And the website specifically said a campground that had services up till November 1st. So where's that? We never yeah. saw that. Yeah, it's uh, there's, there is no campground that I've found. And I went off Google. Even if there's no services, the campground should still exist. Yeah, I went off <laughs> Google Maps and entered the same area in that same map onto my GPS. And we're here in the OHV. This was the only way in. We're on the OHV trails because we're seeing the National Forest signs. But where is the campground? Hmm. That, it that. was Hunter Creek 
Hole Creek, Trout Creek. The website listed a bunch of OHV areas. Yeah. So all of the areas, I'm sure, are that creek, right. that creek, that creek. But yeah, uh -huh. it's a matter of finding the campground. Maybe it's our ignorance as to far, you know, we're used to seeing staging areas for OHV, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're there all the time. Well, if you have a dirt bike, you're going to trailer it in. Don't you need a place to park the trailer when you're out riding? There's not been those. I haven't seen no anything. Nothing that would indicate even when it's open that there would be any sort of facilities. No, we've even found very minimal places like this to pull off of the road to camp. Yeah, and it's not that we require, we cry, I can't even talk, not that we require facilities. It's just if it's open year round, it would be nice to know that the facilities exist so that during the cold winter months, when you have a weekend free, weekend off work, maybe you have a three day weekend, you're not stuck in the house. You, there's still a place that uh, you can come and set up yeah. camp, have a fire. We can uh, be in these mountains in less than three, uh, two and a half, three hours. We're up here. Yeah. So I think it's a total of 120 or 130 miles from my house to where we're standing. And that, in the scheme of things, as far as what we're used to riding to, that's not a lot at all. Fast forward a couple, uh, eh, 45 minutes. The, the night has become pretty pitch. And because we're dispersed camping, uh, we're dealing with tabletops being the top boxes. Uh, I was not able to get a level surface, not enough as compared to what Brian has. So instead of going on my top box, things were a bit weird. I've actually moved to the ground, <laughs> so my sad sorry camping setup here. <laughs> my water is about to boil, and uh, once we get the, the water boiling and get these meals steeping for dinner, then we will move to the fire pit and actually get this thing going. We've got plenty of firewood. Uh, it's not as cold as we originally had thought it was going to be, but we don't want to prematurely light the fire and then just have nothing. Yeah, we're good. So, of course, I'm too busy making my own to film at the same time. So I got to come over here and bother <laughs> Brian. Uh, did we mention something about fire? We did. Should we light this fucker? Yeah. Let's get on this. So... Conditions are the same as last time. Yep. Super dry. Good. But the, the air is moving, but there's no wind. So, not overly worried about catching stuff on fire. We've got a, a decent fire pit built. And uh, well, once this flash burn starts to start the coals. Yeah, a giant pile of pine needles there. Uh, so this is going to grow, in fact, this fire initially is going to grow to bigger than I want it to be as we first start it, but then we'll be able to keep it controlled in a small manner using the firewood that we've prepared for... Using the small pieces of pine method. <laughs> yeah. So... That's it, one flick and it goes up.
how is it that not everybody wants to do this? Why wouldn't you want to do this? Where we are, how we got here. lots of kinds of camping this is not everybody's cup of tea for camping but well this is actually camping right why wouldn't you want to do this there's a lot of adventure guys that i see on the videos that are riding a decent amount of miles for the day but they're just going to the next hotel uh, and that's not adventure riding to me the bikes are meant to go where there are no hotels so yeah yeah a lot that. of people jump from starbucks to starbucks right what does cafe bike mean? Yeah, racing from cafe to cafe. Yeah. You've got two gallons of fuel on board, which is plenty <laughs> plenty to make the four or five blocks that you're gonna go. <laughs> Television of the forest. It's a good channel. never repeat apparently it's feeling like midnight <laughs> or at least 10 p.m. but because of you know it being mid-november it's actually only 7 52 p.m. so we've got the fire going uh, it's a decent amount of heat being generated from this thing but I've set up a thermometer and it's 52.3 degrees. Really? It's 50. I would have bet it was colder than that. No, it's only 52.3. I mean, maybe we're downwind from the fire. <laughs> but. No, it's just not that cold. It's just not that cold. Things may change throughout the course of the night, but this is just a, a really odd November. All right, it's quarter to 11. Crawled into my bag. Looking forward to a nice full night's sleep on this new pillow. And there's no telling what I'm gonna wake up to in the morning weather-wise. We're up here at 4,000 feet and I was expecting at least freezing temperatures, if not into the high 30s, but it's only 55 degrees, so it's it feels pretty warm out there. It's anybody's guess as to what we're going to wake up to. It could be socked in with fog. It could be above the clouds. It could be completely clear. Who knows? But uh, either way, uh, signing off. Find out in the morning. Good night. Now that is one of my favorite parts. I'm getting a really good night's sleep. Opening your eyes to suddenly realize it's getting light out. I'm not even going to see what time it is. I'm just going to crawl out and see what we've got. There's no telling what conditions are going to be like out there. It doesn't feel like it's too cold. Uh, through my little window, it looks like it's clear. I'm expecting just a clear boring fantastic view let's find out This is a nice looking morning. God, it's gotta be 70 degrees out here. Really? Only slight exaggeration. Feels nice in the tent, that's for sure. It I feels, honestly, it feels like it's 60 degrees out here. Wow. I'm gonna check the official. And uh, yeah, just your clear 
dry, boring, spectacular morning view. <laughs> wow, the colors. I've learned that it's completely inaccurate when you first turn it on. When you first turn these things on, it reads the temperature that it was when you turned it off. So you gotta give it a couple of minutes to acclimate, do what it's gonna do. Yeah, it's going up. <laughs> God, what a nice morning. It is actually 60 degrees, so it's really nice. Really nice. As Brian had mentioned, we're starting to notice weird things about, well, unfortunately it's weird. The fact that there's no trash here. We yeah. found a spot that has the, the least amount of human litterings that we've actually, I think I've ever been to. There's no weird little plastic things there's no bags off in the in the bushes there's just nothing here obviously there's tracks to come through here i think brian found a an exhaust band some sort of stainless clamp uh, but that's really the only sign of humans just the way i like it strict contrast to crappy creek yesterday Shit Creek. <laughs> Finding good camps like this has perhaps become a subconscious skill. We're not an anomaly to be able to find spots like this. Sometimes you just got to go out and adventure around. That's the whole idea of all of this is to go explore and find new places. It's nice to, to return to some of the places you already know. I won't call it lazy, but it's sometimes you know that there's water, you know that there's a place to, there's facilities. You know there's good riding. You know there's good riding, familiar trails. But on the other side of that coin, these roads are pretty exciting because in the very end, they're mostly pretty tame, but the excitement of not knowing what's around each corner that's a large part of the allure. There's a couple of spots I've checked my, I used all of my suspension travel in the front on some of those, what Brian called wheel swallowers. Yeah. <laughs> um, little water bar crossings where the bike goes uh, to get through. Um, I'm pretty sure my front wheel is still round. It wasn't completely round to start this trip. Breakfast is cooking. Got a coffee and a half in me and just kind of standing around and enjoying all of this. We stopped at that dome kind of overlook yesterday. I thought that that was going to be our camp spot after discovering the, the leaks and having the water come pouring out of my pannier. Uh, I thought we were going to be up in the dome, but we were apprehensive about staying there because it was so exposed that any kind of wind was going to be exaggerated and we we're just going to get wind blowing all night but we could have stayed there because it's been nice and calm it was pretty damn nice and calm but again the view here is still a decent 360 degrees even if part of that is mountainside i don't get this at home <laughs> Any views I have at home is just my neighbors. It's just really, 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 really extremely cool. Really difficult to get motivated to go. <laughs> this is a hell of a spot. 
the job you have, the work you do, to make the money that you do, to pay for your rent where you live. Working where you work because it's as close to home as possible. Living where you live because it's as close to work as possible. In the end, out here is the only thing that's real. Food, water, and shelter. And all of this. I bet you somebody that, who may or may not be planning on camping could run across this and decide, you know what? I'm gonna stay here tonight. That would be cool. <laughs> That'd Influencing others. Yeah. Look, we got it all set up for you. All you have to do is show up. Your mission, if you choose to accept it. <laughs> Just go ahead and try to find this. It's worth finding. It's funny, too. Because a lot of these places that I go to, that I, I get on video, I almost want to give the wrong name. So nobody if else can go back? The, the good places that I find, I don't want anybody else to come up to. My spot. <laughs> Mine. We weren't the first ones here. We won't be the last. Yep. This trip to Illinois was really good. This is what camping is like in Illinois. Should really come here. Yeah, Illinois. Great place to adventure. This is what Illinois looks like, boys and girls. Go. And camp is officially a wrap. It is. No tent. No tent. Loaded bikes. We're gonna head back up the hill a little bit and go check out that knoll again. Now that my water is not leaking all over the inside of my pannier, we'll have a couple of more minutes to stand there and, and stare at the amazing view. so quiet i can't imagine once we start up these bikes and go trotting back up the hill i can't i can't i wonder how far away you can hear our you can bikes hear us revving i mean we're not ripping ripping rah, but, but dude, you hear the buffaloes roar man yeah they're they're pretty thumpered it's been such a lazy morning it's what time is it it's approaching noon it's got, no it's approaching 11. all right so it's no sense of urgency I'm in no hurry to leave this. All I hear is the, the wind and the trees on this next ridge over here. And this guy flapping his gums. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. It's been a good camp. It's been a great camp. Uh, another, it's a, another good one. Place to return to in the future if we... Yeah. Even if it's a drive by, it's cool to come and see if other people have been to the places we've been. Yeah, I can't believe the, according to the website, the USGS, there's a hundred miles, did it say? A hundred miles of OHV trail. And I don't know if that includes the road I, that I think, we're on. I think this is what it's calling OHV Jeep, uh, Jeep quad dirt bike. And I think it's all just this with whatever ruts and rocks that we're coming across on the road. And a hundred miles of, of this. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, especially if you can disperse camp because it's all in the national forest find spots like this and post up so let's go explore a little bit more see yeah. what we can see excellent yeehaw yeehaw